Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really well. So today I thought I would sit down and film my April favorites. So I want to show you some of my current favorite beauty products. I also have one pair of shoes that I'm really loving as well. So hopefully you'll find some helpful recommendations of some new products to try. So I hope that you guys enjoy and let's get started. So I'm going to start with a primer first. This is from NYX. It is the Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. I've been using this primer now for the last like month and a half and I really love it. It's a very, very smoothing primer so it's going to make your skin feel super silky. It really does even out the texture of your skin and it kind of fills in the pores here in like underneath the eyes around the nose and it's super affordable and I'd say it's definitely comparable to more high-end primers as well. As some of you may know foundations are one of my favorite makeup products to try. I love foundations. I love experimenting with different foundations. I like to see how they wear on my skin, how they change throughout the day. I really love to have nice looking skin. Skincare of course is really important for that as well but foundations can make such a big difference. And some of you may know that I am a big fan of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I wanted to find something that was similar to this in terms of longevity and also the finish of it. So I was reading a lot of reviews and just doing some research and I found this foundation. This is the Studio Fix Fluid from MAC and even though I'm quite like the makeup enthusiast and I've been doing makeup for many many years I've never actually tried any liquid foundations from MAC I do have this in the powder form the studio fix powder which I actually really really love it's one of my go-to kind of everyday just super quick uh, makeup foundations that I use I really wasn't too sure how I was going to feel about this I thought maybe you know it would just be a bit too heavy for my skin but I really really love this and it's very very comparable to the Estee Lauder double wear so I've been in the sun quite a lot lately and I've gotten a little bit of a tan so I wanted to get a darker foundation and that's why I went for this one. This is in the shade NC44.5. It has a very, very warm, more yellow undertone, which is exactly what I need for my skin color. And it's not always easy to find that in foundation. So that's another reason that I really love this, especially now when I'm more tan. And beside the color of the foundation, the actual consistency, the wear time, the finish is beautiful. It has like a semi-matte, more matte finish, but I do prefer that again as with the Estee Lauder because if I do want a more luminous finish I just add in a um, like liquid highlighter or an illuminating primer so you can definitely customize your foundations and recently my favorite way of applying foundations has definitely been with a dampened beauty blender I think that these two work really well together the finish on the skin looks like real skin and that's super super important to me I don't like my skin to look you know too heavy with makeup or that I'm wearing too too much I want to be able to pull out my mirror in the middle of the day and feel confident about my skin so dampen beauty blender is definitely the way to go and then just set it with a little bit of you know like translucent powder and I think that that finish is beautiful I found a really really great brightening under eye um, product to use before concealer this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector it comes in a little jar and it looks like this on the inside this is extremely pigmented so you only need a little amount and you just press it in underneath your eyes after you've done your foundation and it really helps to cancel out darkness it also has a tiny tiny amount of shimmer in it so it helps to really reflect the light and really make your under eyes look super super you know bright and awake and luminous and I love that and then once I'm done kind of color correcting that area. I love to use this concealer. This is from Urban Decay. It's the Naked Skin Concealer in the color Medium Neutral. I've been using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for the past like two years or something. I didn't find anything else that I loved as much as that and this little guy has come along and it is amazing. I do still love the NARS, but I find that this is just a slight bit more lightweight. I feel like it really meshes and blends so well with the skin. When you put this on and you really blend it in well, I like to use a dampened beauty blender again or a little brush or even my finger. 
it's, it's like undetectable you cannot see it but there is pigment in here so it's not you know like it disappears and it doesn't do anything there is definitely quite a lot of pigment in here and it does really help to conceal to brighten I also really like concealers that come with this kind of wand applicator I feel like it's just really easy to put on another face uh, makeup item that I found recently that I'm obsessed with is from Hourglass. This is their bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Just like their ambient lighting blushes, their bronzers are also infused with their ambient lighting powders, which is a really, really fine kind of luminous iridescent powder. So it's swirled in with these bronzer pigments. So you get this really beautiful, luminous bronzer look, but it's not at all glittery or too shiny. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And you guys, it's so beautiful. Because it has that radiant powder infused in the bronzer, it just will give you like a really, really beautiful glow. And also just like the blushes, you guys know I love the blushes too probably because I used the diffused heat blush pretty much all throughout last year. Each one of their bronzers and blushes, you know, and kind of like the marble, effect that you see they're all unique to one another and i just love the attention to detail this has also been a favorite this is from noix again it is the matte finish long lasting setting spray another amazing product from nyx that is super super affordable it works just as well as my urban decay all-nighter setting spray i find the formulations to be very very similar but again this is just a lot more affordable. I use this as sort of like the last step in my makeup routine to really just set everything in place. It helps to remove any powdery residue and just it helps to make the makeup really melt into the skin and it makes it last longer throughout the day. I mentioned these a few days ago on my Snapchat. These are from Ardell. They are the individual lashes. I'm a big fan of the Demi Wispies from Ardell. Those are pretty much the only false eyelash that I can wear. They're very easy to put on and they don't feel heavy on the eye. I wanted to buy some more and I came across the individual ones and I thought I would give it a try. I always felt like individual lashes would just take way too long to apply but I'm so happy that I did give these a try because I love the way that they look. I'm wearing them today. I also wore them in my latest makeup tutorial where I did like a really easy smoky eye that's like super super beautiful. I will have a link for that video below if you didn't see it yet and I show you there how I apply these lashes especially love to wear these when I don't wear any liquid liner because you can really get these super super close to your you know natural lashes which definitely makes it look a lot more natural and that you're not wearing anything and then you just apply some mascara on top and it just looks so beautiful very like you know fluttery lashes again they're from the drugstore they're not very expensive and I have now bought like several packs of these. And also for my lashes, I discovered a mascara. This is one that I used to use before. Like when I first started getting into makeup, I remember watching a video of Mario De... De... Oh, I don't know how you say his last name. Devav... Devavonique. And this was like way back in the day, just when he started to get really popular. And he said that he used this mascara from L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous Mascara in Extra Black, or I believe in the States it's called Carbon Black. I bought that mascara and I loved it. And then I tried other ones, of course, and then throughout the years I just didn't use it. But I needed to buy a new one. I saw this one and I remembered how amazing it was. So I bought it again and it's still just as amazing. It's super affordable and it really makes your lashes very long voluminous and the formulation is super super pigmented like very very black so it really makes your lashes stand out and I've worn this pretty much every single time that I've done my makeup for the last month or so and then the last makeup item I want to talk about is from Marc Jacobs this is their gel crayon in the color marigold it's a really pretty gold eyeliner which has like a really nice smooth gel consistency I have been using this so often in 
just the inner part of my lower lash line just really close right there to the center of the eye I feel like it really adds to that bronzy sun-kissed look and it makes your eyes look very sultry and glowy and just bright and awake I want to move on to just a little bit of skincare I have switched up my skincare routine quite a lot recently these are just a couple of them that I've really been into but if you would like to see a full updated skincare routine then let me know below in the comments taking care of your skin now when you are young is so important for how it's going to age when you get older my skin is not the easiest to deal with I wasn't born with perfect skin I definitely have to work hard at keeping my skin clear and healthy looking it's not something that comes you know easy for me so I've learned to enjoy the process and I see the benefits of when I do take care of my skin so I'm going to show you just a few of the new products that I've really been into to. I've always been curious about La Mer products, but I know that they are so freaking expensive. It's a lot of money to invest in skincare, but a lot of people rave about the results. So I was kind of like on the fence of trying it. I do have their foundation, which I love. The formulation of that is beautiful, but as far as skincare, this is like my first big you know, skincare product that I bought. I decided to get the treatment lotion from La Mer. This has a very liquidy consistency as you might be able to see this is something you apply to your skin after you've cleansed and toned your face you apply a few drops of this to the palm of your hand and you rub it together and then you press it onto your skin and I'll just do a very soft kind of massage when I'm applying it and then I will finish by pressing it into the skin what La Mer is known for is their miracle broth which is like this fermented seaweed this miracle broth is what La Mer is really known for and kind of gives their product that extra wow factor and this is one of the more affordable products at La Mer so I think it's a great way to kind of test out La Mer without buying you know something super super expensive because of the light consistency of this I think it really suits every skin type and you get that essence that miracle broth that La Mer is really known for and that's kind of like you know the key factor of all their products and as I mentioned, this definitely does have that in there as well. And because of how little you need to use every application, this will last you a really long time. I probably use a little bit more than what you're supposed to because I love the way that this feels on my skin. I also use it on my neck. I've been using this for over a month now. I use it morning and night and Mo also uses this. He does like it as well. Another skincare product that I love is from Caudalie. I love Caudalie as a whole. They have such good skincare product this is their hydrating toning lotion I'm not sure if I have ever talked about this on my channel before but this is one of my favorite toners it works so beautifully on my skin it's a very simple toner it's just very comforting it's hydrating a lot of toners tend to be you know stripping and drying it just works really well for my skin it closes up my pores again and it gets rid of any excess makeup that maybe my cleanser didn't remove and this is another product from Caudalie that I've been using for the last few months it's a serum this is called the Complexion Correcting Radiant Serum. So it's against dark spots and uneven uh, pigmentation. I find that this has been super helpful in evening on my skin tone, just brightening up my complexion. This is definitely another product from Caudalie that I could recommend. And as I mentioned, I have kind of switched up my skincare routine lately. So if you would like to see like a full updated skincare video, then let me know below. But I cannot stress enough the importance of taking care of your skin, especially if you have problematic skin like I do. It can seriously be so beneficial. And lastly, I just want to show you guys a pair of shoes that I, oh, I'm just in love with. I did show these in my latest weekly vlog, which by the way, Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the positivity that you gave me on that video. I, oh my god, I was so happy to read all of your positive feedback. So thank you guys so, so much. I will definitely do more of those. But in that video, I had an event to go to and I decided to get these Gen Vito Rossi nude pumps. They are just so beautiful and very classic elegant shoes they go with so many different outfits i didn't have any nude heels before so i really needed a pair and i'm so happy that i went for these they are a little bit more on the pricey side since they are from a designer brand but they are super comfortable and really well made jambi tarasi are known for making very comfortable heels 
So I think they are definitely worth it. So those are all the items I wanted to share with you guys today. And in case you guys are wondering what's on my lips, I'm wearing MAC lip liner in the color Boldly Bear. This is so beautiful. And on top of that, I'm wearing a little bit of this NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the color Play Pen. And my top is from Zara. It's actually a little kind of crop top thing and I'm wearing my little white sapphire diamond necklace from my collaboration with Majuri and I also have in the earrings to match but I pretty much wear these every single day anyway so you guys probably know where these are from by now. I'll have everything linked down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and as always you can find me on my social media. I am on Instagram and Snapchat. Both of those are at Annie Jeffrey. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will see you guys soon. Mwah.